custom bubblegum machine. Yeah, it's the shop king. Yeah, it's shop king time. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Shop king in the house. <laughs> you know, lately I've I've been bashing Animal Jam a lot because I've been a little bit upset with how they have been doing things, and I want it to be known. I love, love Animal Jam. I got nothing but respect for the staff over there. I know it's a lot of work, but I feel like they've been doing things wrong. Is any of this getting through to you? Like re-releasing old items for one. But now there's a new uh, issue here. So I'm sure you're familiar with the Animal Jam box. There's a brand new one on the way. <gasps> and they have started shipping them out. A couple people have got them and we have seen the promo items. And they are really disappointing. These are the worst promo items I have ever seen. What? No. No. What? <gasps> no. <gasps> if we take a look at some of the previous promo items in Animal Jam, as you can see, they're totally unique, cool items, right? They look like promos. You see that? You're like, man, that is a promo item. And if we check out the clothing promos, have a look. All sparkly and glitter, glitterly. Yes, that's that's a word. Yeah. Wait, what? You know, these are cool items. Everybody loves promos. Look at them. But Animal Jam has done something that I never, I never really expected. I never thought they would do something like this. This is pretty lazy. It was somewhat insensitive, but uh, here, I'll, I'll just show you. So the new Animal Jam box contains two promos. That's cool. That's that's a good job. That's a thumbs up. There's the first promo. <laughs> Custom double ribbon bow. Oh. Uh. Just... Just wait. Maybe you don't remember it, but that's what the, I mean, uh, what What makes this custom? Cause it's like one shade brighter. That's the best that you could come up with in three months. What? That's it? What? <laughs> yeah. Just, That's, they literally just copied it, but without the diamond sign. It made it like the slightest bit lighter. Custom double ribbon bow. Totally custom. Yeah. 100%. They made that all by themselves. I mean, so in inspired. It, yeah. I mean, it's totally impressive. Not. Let's see if it at least glitters and sparkles like promos usually do. Here we go. Okay, no glitters, no sparkles, disappointment only. Now let's take a look at the other promo item. So this is a head feather. Mm -hmm. We are familiar with head feathers. And the other promo is this custom head feather. Let's see if this glitters and see. it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything at all. A lot of people are very upset about these items. I've heard people talking about when they get their jam box, they're returning it, they're canceling their subscription. And one thing you have to remember is that this feather is a very important symbol to the indigenous people of the Americas. It has a lot of meaning behind it. And I can tell you a lot of people are really upset about this item. I have got to give both of these promos two big thumbs down. I am not impressed at all. I don't know what, I don't know why you just couldn't come up with something new. I never would have thought of that. I said before, they should put a pet in there. Could you imagine if they put a pet in the Animal Jam box? Oh man, that would be crazy. I'd probably buy two boxes. You don't, you don't even know. Oh man, rare custom promo pet. You know, do something like that. Come up with a new blackout item. How about that? 
Or what about the rest of the alpha items? I know you probably designed them, you probably intended to release them at some point, but you can't release them now because they're not making adopter pets anymore. Put alpha items in there. God, there's so many cool things you could do. And instead, you do, you do this? Jam and Trendsetter made a post about this, you know. I mean, the box is $30 and we're just getting items that basically already existed. Let's read some of these comments. I'm done with the boxes. These are the last ones. Man, I'm glad my sister and I didn't each purchase a box. A lot of people buying these boxes because they're looking forward to the promo, but now so many people aren't because this is just lazy. Shame on you, Animal Jam. Shame on you. Didn't they learn from headdresses? Talking about the head feather? Pulled two junk items out of store and recolored them. Then slapped a custom tag on it and called a day. <laughs> Just plain lazy and disappointing. Man. Wow. Just wow. So creative, Animal Jam. This is why I will never buy a box from them. Ever. So there you have it, Jammers. The custom double ribbon bow. The custom head feather. Um, man, I, it's not, it's not great. I don't know what to say. Oh, I want to give a special shout out to Jammer for trading these to me because I don't, I didn't get the box. Uh, I don't know when they started shipping them out and how these people got them early, but <laughs> actually I don't really have a problem with them like redoing an older item you know but they just have to do it right and make it look good you know taking a green ribbon bow and turning it into a slightly lighter green ribbon bow that's not very that you could do so much better than that well that's gonna do it for this video everybody thanks for watching leave your comment let me know what you think about the promos let me know what you think the promo should be if you were putting together an animal jam box and you had to come up with a promo item what would it be custom bubblegum machine see that would be cool it's like purple or or blue or something that, that would be cool i would like that i would like that a lot could I have peacock feathers? Custom peacock feathers. Yeah? I mean... <sighs> I don't like having to rant about Animal Jam. I love it. I want it to be awesome. I want you to do better. I want everyone to be excited to get on. See all the cool new stuff and have fun. But I am optimistic about the future. I'm, I have a feeling that some really, really cool things are on the way. No, no, I don't believe it. And I just want to say it one more time that I'm sorry for sort of ranting and bashing. You done over there, kitty? Huh? Try to make a video over here, kitty. Yeah, I'm sorry about bashing Animal Jam. I really do love Animal Jam. I've I've worked so hard on it and I feel like it could be so much better in it. I, you know, from their perspective, if I was Animal Jam, it's hard to please everybody, right? You can make some people happy and then some are gonna be mad. So it's not easy, you know? I'm. I'm sitting up here making a video and I do this and do this. I know it's not that easy and I'm I'm not trying to be super hard, but at the same time it's like the same color bow. I mean I don't I don't you guys leave a comment, tell me. Tell me what you think. Okay? Alright. Yeah.